What up, what up, Wimbush here. And I wanna share this important tip whenever you're working with Nanite files instead of Unreal Engine 5. So as you can see, I have Unreal Engine 5 opened up right now and everything in this scene is built with Nanite. So I'm gonna use this tree stump as an example. So if I click on this and then I come down into my content browser, let me dock it so it's always here. But if I come down here and let me look for my tree stump here, you can see that if I double click on one of these materials, you can see that whenever you're working with Nanite, especially coming from Quixel, we're gonna have an AK texture. Now this could be overkill, especially for a lot of people's systems out there. So we can actually bring this down to 4K or 2K or even 1K. So what you're gonna wanna do is come down here underneath compression to where it says advanced. And then right here where it says maximum texture size, on default, it's going to be zero. So that's going to be your default for whatever texture size that you have in there. If you're using Nanite inside of Quixel, it's going to be 8K. But let's say we want to bring this down to 2K. So all we do is type in the resolution that we want. So that would be 2048. I'm going to hit enter and give us a second to recalculate. And then right here under display, you can see that now it's going to be 2048 by 2048. So we're going to click on save. And then we're going to look back in here in our viewport. And you can see that our stump still looks pretty good. And so the Nanite is still gonna have the geometry of the Nanite with auto polygons and everything. But sometimes we wanna use a lower texture resolution just so our scene doesn't get so bloated. So hopefully this helped you guys out. Make sure you check out my course on Raw Engine 5 in five days. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'll see you soon, take care.